to ask for. He was loving, selfless, and he always knew how to make the best of any situation. And that smile really helped. He could laugh in the face of adversity, and he had so much strength, and I'm so happy I got to see it at its peak firsthand when I went to Israel to go visit him. And I got to witness him in his full army attire. I remember when he arrived at the lobby of our hotel in Haifa, and I saw him with this huge gun. And instead of the fear you might see in a hotel lobby in America with a man with a huge gun, he was treated like royalty. He was VIP there. And that Galani patch probably had something to do with it too. He took a train and two buses and ran and walked three miles to get to our hotel. That was a four hour journey. And friends, amazing as Max, just don't come around that often. He, was, he had a heart of gold and was probably the most fun person I ever met. We became best friends in sixth grade and I clearly remember the day when me, him, and our little AMC group went to the movies for the first time without our parents. Uh, he, he has just been so, such a big part of my life and through all the school years, He's really shaped me, and he's taught me how to pursue fun, excitement, and joy in everything that I do, and in every moment I have the chance to. So I can't think of him, can't thank him enough for that. The memories of jamming wild horses or come together with Jake on the uh, on the guitar and Max on the bass and me on the drums. You know, those, those memories will live on forever, along with the memories of doing theater with him and Thanksgiving football games and all the rest. He, he will live on forever in my mind. I love you, Max. You're a hero, you're my hero, and it's such a blessing to have been able to be your friend.